Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to try out Diane Press's new stamp and die kit called Great Outdoors. Um, hopefully you've seen this in maybe the email blast or there while it's on HSN already. Um, it is a really cute set having to do with like fishing and things like that. So let's open this guy up. So they did send this item free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. Any links out in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items through those links. So thanks for using those if you can. And I get this question quite often in the description boxes right under the video title. You can click on the title, it usually expands. You might have to click show more a couple times for it to actually show links. But whenever anybody links anything, their social media recipe links, you know, or recipe years or any kind of information like that, it's in the description box generally. So it's a good thing to know where that is. Um, oh, look how cute. I love the shape of that little fishy. Sorry about that. So let's just get this guy opened up. And let's see. Oh. Oh wow, those are really sizable. Okay, let's check this out. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for where you open it on the bottom. Here. Okay, and I have a few things here already to help us out with our cards, so I'll talk about that in just a minute. And let's check this out. Let's look at the inspo sheet. The great outdoors. Look at the little fishing rod. How cute is that? Little fishies. And I'm sure if you're a fisherman, fisherwoman, a fisher, <laughs> you would know what kinds of things these are. Um, little lures and stuff. How cute. Look at the little camper. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Little, again, lures, fly, fishing kind of items. Little trees. And those have dies. Oh, and then the banner has a die too. So fishing you a happy birthday or um, note, all arch sentiments fit within banners, so the arch ones will fit in here, and then you have all these other sentiments to pair them up with. Adventure awaits, uh, hope you have a really, and then, you know, happy birthday or great birthday with the different words. And then, oh, let's look at this one. So it's like a background, like kind of mountain kind of stamp with a little sun rising or setting, I suppose, depends on um, how you color it, right? Um, and then we have the moon there, and... Here's your official birthday card. I'm hooked on you. How cute is that? I love that little worm. It's adorable. And then here are some examples. Look how cute. A little rainbow trout. <laughs> uh, we have the fishing lures and stuff like that over here. Super cute. So let's see um, the dies, of course, we have. I mean, these are really good size. Let me get a couple of measurements for you. So you just have an idea how large these are. So that was like three and a half inches wide, that fishy. This one's like three inches. You know, the banner itself is like three and three quarter inches or so. I mean, the fishing pole here is five and a quarter inches tall, and then of course it comes out this way, so then everything else is kind of around that sizing, right? And then here we have the stamps. Again, these are uh, acrylic stamp sets. I mean, look at the adventures. Really nice catch, congrats. Large, smaller, you know, with the banner and then the words that go in there. If you want to use that, I'm hooked on you. Here's your official birthday card. <laughs> And then here are fishies, and I, that little worm is just the cutest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How cute. And I mean, the lure is like, I mean, that's a good size, right? Really nice focal points. I'm loving the size of these guys. And then again, that background um, and like little stream or water kind of uh, bits. So what I did to get ready for this card is I brought out um, a standard A2 size card base. So if you're making your own, and I always say this, it's eight and a half by five and a half, and you score it at four and a quarter, so you would have a standard A2 size card. Um, I cut this blue piece of paper just like four and an eighth by five and three eighths. You can see it's just matting right inside my card. And I brought out a couple things. So I brought these out from the um, Diamond Press Today special uh, because I have not used them yet, and they're daubers. They're more of your typical stenciling daubers that you might recall using Previously, I'm probably going to use this one, the medium sized one. There's a smaller one, a little, you know, a little bit bigger and then this guy and then the big boy. Um, and I'm going to use this because I haven't used it yet. But you've seen other videos where I've used like the these uh, interchangeable heads with the Dime Press inks. So these were also in the today's special. But I'm going to use these just because I haven't used them yet. And then um, I grabbed an ink. So I think it comes with a blue ink, a pink ink, and maybe green. I don't recall what the third color was, but I do remember that I had a blue one. So I went ahead and grabbed that so we can do a stenciled background. And that will be, you know, showing you how to just inking stenciling very simply. Um, oh, so when I did a card the other day, I used the green background that I had 
uh, tinted texture paste with and I really love that look and I, I love it even for this set you know I think that would be really pretty but I'm gonna go ahead and do blue just this time for this one and I'm still using the leaves but I just feel like it looks like water like fun I don't know so I'm gonna use that and generally I just kind of hold on to this to be honest most of the time but I've been sticking them down in the back just so you can see that that's another way of holding your papers down especially if they're already cut to where you want them so like this is already cut to four and eighth by five and three eighths and so I just want to really see where that is and I'll grab something like this and so I'm just going to take some ink and I'm going to use again a traditional kind of dauber and the other thing is this has like a texture to it right and you can see hopefully this is like sponge where this one's smoother right so it's going to give a different look just due to that so again picking up some color and with these guys definitely you won't well, definitely but generally you pounce like this that's you know how you would stencil but I can still bring it in and do this kind of thing so I'm just going to put down some color a little bit more in some areas less in others that's okay I just want to have some organic fun with this. I think that's good. Just something just kind of like that, right? It's just a little model, a little different here and there. Okay, just a soft background. I'm going to uh, wash this off. You can definitely put a little water on this. Just, you know, squeeze it. Just leave it for next time. I, <laughs> You know me. I would probably just leave and just use this for blue colors when I raise blue, but I will be right back. So I just rinsed that off with some water, like literally took seconds. It just came out because this is water based and I just used it. So as you can see, it looks brand new. So there we go. Um, I'm going to remove this and I'm just kind of choosing, thinking about what it is that I want to do. Um, since it did make this look really watery and kind of like that kind of fun background, I think what I'm going to do is stamp on it. But also add obviously some of the uh, items from the kit there so let's see um, I think I like the way this would look here right so I think what I'm gonna do is put in there I think you're pretty and then the fly one and so I'm just gonna eyeball that about where I think that would be centered that looks pretty good and then just to make sure like that's about where I would want it because I'm going to put I think you're pretty and then like some of the flies up here okay looks good um hmm I'll just do it in black I was going to do the blue again if you do it a couple times you just keep building it up because we're using a precision press it'll just be that much darker but um I think I'll just do it in black and then um I'll do the I think you're pretty on white paper with the blue inking, I think that'll be good. Ooh, it looks a little rough. I like that for this type of thing. Cute. And I just left it kind of rough looking the way I modeled it. And I like that look, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm not going to restamp it. Um, and then, like I said, I do want the other part stamped on some white paper. Oh, I have a little piece of white paper here. Is that big enough? Oh, and I just recalled that we can stamp that with color and then the words too, huh? All right. Let me grab some green ink. And I think it'll fit on here. So, okay, I'll be right back. This will be interesting. So I have this. I'm going to stamp that. I have this light green, but I don't want it to be even as bright as this. is. Actually, this is pretty light, huh? Let's see. That might work. Oh yeah, I was gonna stamp it off if it was too dark, um, like on a scrap piece and then do it again. But that looks pretty good, okay, I like that. And then we need our sentiment. So let me clean up a little bit, I'll be right back. I think you're pretty, I'm going to stamp that in the blue and I'll probably do it a couple times because I really want it to stand out. So I'm just eyeballing that and if I wasn't on camera, I would bring it closer to me. I guess I will just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, and let's do this a couple times to really get that blue to pop. Oh, I like it. And just one more coat. Oh. 
in for me even pressure with acrylic stamps that okay um, and then I guess while this is out what I can do is just stamp a few of the flies lures uh, let's see oh my goodness is this like a little fake one that's what it looks like right <laughs> so cute oh okay I was just gonna use the three these guys but I do like having that little fake guy okay and this is paper alcohol ink marker paper and I'll just give these guys some space for when I cut them out so let's just give them a little room in between each other that was probably too close to there and hybrid ink is our friend in case I decide oh you know what watercoloring that might be nice huh <gasps> yeah let's do that Ooh, <laughs> that was not great um, just to give it a softer look and I think that'll be really fun okay so let's do that and what I mean by watercolor I mean like picking up ink <laughs> from a water-based marker Almost got them all. I just missed this part right here. Maybe that area there. Where am I missing? Right here. All right, I'm gonna let that dry either way, and I'll be right back. Let that to dry just a little bit. Um, we can go ahead and stick this this down. And then we'll cut out our little lures and pop those on there, and put our banner on there and we'll be all done with this cutie and they also have a sports set of stamp set that Diane Press brought to HSN and it has like I don't know so many sports even pickleball I was like what <laughs> so, so we'll uh, check that out very shortly but um, we're gonna get that cut in just a little bit here and I think this might be dry we will see um, Let's see here. Let me grab. I'll be right back. And like I said, um, glare. <laughs> but I'm going to use their glass mat here um, just to color in some of these fun things. So, again, you can take water based markers, do something like that, take a little bit of this, and then go ahead and color items in. I didn't squeeze this, so that's why it's very light. Uh, let's see about. this one and just bring that color out so whenever I do something like this I'm very <laughs> fast and loose with it here I'll start in the center where I think there would be a darker area and then bring the color out to the lighter areas right so it looks like you have some shadow even though you're just kind of playing around um, let me wipe that down let me get a little more of this green I would like to build that up a little Yeah, something fun and bright like that and maybe a little more of a darker green sorry and just bring in some color like that and then like maybe this one here maybe it starts off with a little bit of that orange maybe a little yellow oopsie Here. And maybe some red. A little more of the red there. Put that there. And some of that yellow. Blend it in a little bit. And then down to the orange again. All right. And I'll do something similar with this little guy. Just do a little bit of color and I'll be back. thing I'll do just around the little lures here. I'll take some blue. This is a very light blue. And I'm just gonna color in so when I do my die cutting, it'll just have a little blue edge instead of a white edge. So I'm just gonna use as much of this blue as I need to put the smallest amount of color all around all the lures. Okay, and I literally just out in space, you know, I'm just putting it out here. Okay, I'll do it with all three. So I have my pieces here drying. Um, and what we're gonna do is just cut these guys out. So the banner here, 
you know, I can see pretty well in there how I'm going to cut it, but if you want to make an aperture, which I suppose I'll do, um, you don't make an aperture with this. Maybe I'll drop shadow it. We'll see. Uh, piece of paper, scissors, let's put that right here. So with the drop shadow, and I'll do the same thing with the lures, all you're going to do is take a scrap piece of paper or a piece of paper that you want to go ahead and use for a drop shadow. Uh, we're making an aperture, sorry, so that we know where we're cutting. So I just take a scrap like that. We are going to run it through and I'm just using a well-loved folder here. Do that kind of slowly even though you can just really crank it out pretty quickly. I just don't want to shake the camera. And we have this piece again, maybe I'll drop shadow with it, that's why I chose this green paper, but otherwise I just have this and this is what we're looking for. So all you're going to do with that guy is just look and see exactly where you're cutting. So you can see your image there. And that looks pretty great. I did make it so the tape overlaps and it's touching that, but if you want to put another piece of tape, you can definitely do that. I'm just going to hold it like this. And especially in the marquee, you can just kind of hold the uh, folder with your hand while you're guiding it through. And this is what we have. Really nice, like, dead-on die cut, right? So I'll do the same thing with the lures. Um, I did bring out this blue paper just in case I decide I want to drop shadow them. So with each one of these guys, because again, you can just pair it up there. I mean, you can see that little carrot shape there. You're probably pretty good there. Um, have that, and this one. But again, I'm going to take a moment to create an aperture, like this one. And I'll take my little tape from here, but some people like to hold on to their um, apertures that they create so they can use it for next time. And again, I always look for an area that's more flat that you can hinge real easily. And I'll run this through, and then I'll use that to guide you know where that is. And I'll do the same thing for the other two, and I'll be right back. shadow it or not. You know, it always gives an added something. I think that looks really nice actually. So let's go ahead and put that together. And, and then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on this. Probably a lower profile dimensional. Actually you know what I'll do a higher profile dimensional on this one and then I'll do lower on the the lures and weights there. Something like that. And then these guys let me go ahead and drop shadow them why not? We have it, right? So I'll just glue them together with a slight drop shadow to the left or, you know, down like this. I mean, however it is that you want to drop shadow them. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this with a little higher dimensional. And we can just stick that right there. And then we have these lures. I'm going to put this one right here. Yeah, a little bit lower like that. And then his little buddies <laughs> next to him here and there. Um, put that one a little bit higher up. And this one over here. Cute. Really love the look of this set. Really, really um, just different and interesting. I love the little fishies that are in there. Uh, thank you so much, Die Impress, for sending these items for review. I'll have images coming up, guys. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.